And today I want to talk to you about a very great way to organize your thoughts to better inform your teacher of your student for this upcoming school year. So at the very top of this organizational chart, you will type in your student's name. Um, and then the following block, you'll type in um, a brief background of your student. What do your student like to do? Does it have to pertain to school at all? It could be something as simple as, oh, my child enjoys the feeling of sand in their hands as it passes through the middle of their fingers. Um, my child loves going to the beach and hearing the ocean crush against the coast, whatever um, your child likes. Um, and then the next box, you can talk about what your vision is for your student for this upcoming school year. What do you want your student to accomplish at the end of this school year? Um, and then you're going to talk about the student strains, um, what works for your student, and what does not work for your student. And then um, we're going to also speak to what has um, been successful in calming your student down. This is really great, especially when you have a new teacher and you have been homeschooling or um, this is learning for a number of months. So what have been some key words you've been using, key phrases, or what have you seen to be proven to calm down your, your student? What are you currently working on? So are you trying to work for um, a certain task? Are you trying to increase um, your abilities in your executive functioning? Are you trying to um, work on your speech skills, uh, occupational therapies, or any other therapies that you may be um, receiving any ABA support? Um, you'll put that there. And then the favorites, like what, what are your child's favorites? It could be pertaining to school or not. Um, what do your child enjoy? enjoy? Is it, what are their hobbies? Um, if it's school related, what are some school related um, favorites? Are there certain core subjects your student may be really engaged in? Um, is there a reason why? Is it because of manipulatives or some, um, uh, some sounds that you can hear um, associated with that, that core subject? What helps your, um, your child stay engaged? That would be really good information to stay and put in this book. I hope this information helps and stay tuned for some more great resources.